Good morning, children. Good morning, ma'am. Who is Priya Gangwar? Okay, that's Shivansh Gangwar. Shivansh, better open your camera. All right. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, Vita. Good morning. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, Uche. Good morning to all of you. All of you, take out your social studies copies. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, Vita. Good morning. Everybody, first we'll have attendance. I'll take your attendance and then we'll begin our class. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, Vita. Good morning. Okay, one by one, please call out your names. Call out your names one by one. What's wrong? Stuti Khandelwal, Risha. Can you hear me, all of you? Yes, yes ma'am. Okay, my voice is cracking. Something is wrong with my voice. Ma'am, your voice is coming. All right. I'm saying all of you to call out your names one by one so that I can mark you present. Good morning. Good morning, Vita. Good morning. I'm Stuti Khandelwal. All right. Very good, Stuti Khandelwal. Then next. Ma'am Pratyak Swati. Very good. Next. Ma'am Rishabh Kumar. Very good. Next. Ma'am Manas Gharg. Who? Manas Gharg. Okay. Next. A third thing. All right, very good. Next. Shivansh. Shivansh Gangwar. All right, next. Shish. Shish. Okay, Shish is also done. And the last one, any other person? Harsh Patel. Harsh Patel. Okay. Very good. And then in the end, last name, Mishti. All right. Okay, good. Now till where had we done? We were doing the chapter reading and explanation, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, everybody open up your yes, notes. Did you revise your chapter? Did, did you revise it? Yes, Go through the chapter. Very good. Very nice. Okay. Who will tell me what is civics? Can you tell me what is civics? No, no civics is a subject that teaches us mm -hmm. study in school. That and teaches us what? Civics is a subject that teaches us. Ma'am, civics is a subject that teaches how the government, how the government do work. How the government of a country works. Very, very good. Okay. What is civic sense? What is civic sense? Our city. Yes. Ma'am, civic sense like we, ma'am, we, ma'am, we have to talk somebody like, ma'am, we have to talk somebody very, very in in sense, in good okay. sense. All right. We should talk to each other nicely. 
and anything else anything else what is civic sense having duty ma'am yes ma'am keeping our ma'am keeping our roads and parks clean okay all right now civic sense is having responsibility duty and respect towards each other that is civic sense what is it you have to remember three words for civic sense responsibility duty and respect now tell me what is civic sense mom responsibility duty responsibility duty and responsibility duty and respect yes responsibility duty and respect towards each other is civic sense fine okay now okay. tell me now tell me to be a good citizen what should be first what should we first be to be a good citizen of india first we should be what that means you have not revised the chapter no one has revised it you did Mama, not go through ma'am i am confused in this what in oh, what in this question yes ma'am responsibility is of a good citizen better to be a good citizen we first need to be a good neighbor yes. when we'll be a good neighbor to somebody then only we'll be a good citizen of our country so to be a good citizen we first need to be a good neighbor all right till where have we read where uh, where are we supposed to start from ma'am we have to supposed to start on 22 page number we are supposed to start from page number 22 that is elections yes ma'am all right so who will read ma'am please send pdf beta you don't have the book ma'am can i read who doesn't have the book okay i have sent the pdf on the class group you can see from there anyone who doesn't have the book got it got the pdf beta okay now who is going to read tell me elections from elections everybody first of all open your cameras i can just see three or four students in the class with their cameras on who wanted the pdf i don't understand why are you not replying what ma'am can i read what is wrong with the class today one by one each one of you will have to read first of all i'll call out the names of those children whose cameras are off devansh verma start reading devansh verma that means devansh verma is uh, devansh verma is not in the class
प्रत्यक्ष राठी स्टार्ट रीडिंग बेटा प्रत्यक्ष राठी आई एम मार्किंग ऑल ऑफ यू एबसेंट दो नॉट रिप्लाइंग टू वॉट आई एम से So that means Pratyaksh Rathi and Devansh Verma are absent. Yes, ma'am. Let us start reading from elections. Start reading. Hurry up! Don't waste time. India is a demo democracy. 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 Let us democracy. democracy and the people of india choose the leaders who from the government the method by which the citizen choose their leaders is called an election elections are held in india every 5 years people elect their leaders through voting all indian citizen above the age of 18 are eligible to vote in the elections and are called voters all right very the, nice very good very good that's all now what happens in india india you all know is a democratic country right it is a democratic country people choose their leaders who chooses the uh, who makes the government over here it is made by the people of india isn't it you all know that india is yes, a democratic country yes ma'am yes, yes ma'am we yes, form the government we choose our government that is why it is called a democratic country and the method by which the citizen choose their leaders it is called what it is called election what is that method yes, called sir. election yes election or if, or if i ask you what is election then the method by yes. which citizens choose their leaders is called an election after how many years this election happens after how many years every five years yes it is conducted every five years and how do people elect the leaders by, by voting. voting very by nice voting. by voting can you all go and vote can you all start voting now next time when elections take place no 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 ma'am no ma'am sure why because we are under 18 years very nice so the eligibility age for voting is 18 years you need to be 18 years yeah. if you have to cast your vote and the people who give vote are called people who do voting are called voters now next next who will read uh, harsh patel harsh beta start reading from the next para elections are held in india every 5 years people beta this, elect this beta this we have read from the next the candidate the candidates how wish to, to wish contest the elections tell people what they would do the, to help the people and the country if they are elected the voters then divide how they should vote for every voter in india has special identity cards known as the voter identity card or voter id which has the name address and a photograph of the person on the day of the election voters go to the polling booths carrying their vote uh, uh, telling no whom one 
is voting for as citizens of the country it is our duty to choose our leaders wisely wisely okay wait last line voters go to the polling booths carrying their voter ids and then vote by a secret ballot which means no one gets to know whom one is voting for so what happens how do these elections take place first of all the candidates who wish to stand in elections what they do they tell the normal public they tell the general public that what they would do after being elected how they would be beneficial what all things they would do for the general public these the candidates who stand for election they promise they give they show something to public that after being elected i will do so and so i will do this and this for you and this is how the general public then decides whom they have to who they have to give their vote to how will we come to know that who we should vote for if suppose i have four candidates before me and four of them want to be the leader how will i choose that who who sh i should give my vote to whom so it depends on what they tell to me what they would do for me what they would do for the country what they would do for the region where i live how who would be the most beneficial for me i would cast my vote to that particular candidate this is how i decide this is how people decide to give their votes then what happens every voter in india has a special identity card in uh, class 3 you remember all of us studied in gk special identity cards different identity yeah, cards yeah. that indians have so one of the cards was the voter identity card now when you have to go and give your vote you must have a voter identity card the, uh, only then you can give your vote now what all does a voter id have it has the name address and photograph of the person on the day of the election voters go to the polling booths have you seen your parents going for voting have you ever seen yes ma'am yes so yes where, so where, do they, where do they go to vote yes ma'am where do they go to vote they go to a polling booth and then what happens yes. there how do they give their votes they give their votes in a secret ballot secret ballot yes ma'am yes it is a ma'am but i yes ma'am but i forget the where we have to go into the vote my parents yes now you can go and ask them they will tell you where they go so what happens okay, is ma'am. now there they give their votes in a secret manner that nobody gets to know whom you have voted for okay it is not open there no it is not done in open it is done in a secret manner so that nobody comes to know that whom you have voted for and as the citizens of the country now we as indians it is our duty to choose our leaders wisely to choose our leaders in a wise manner we should think that who would be best for us who would be best to be our leader only then we should choose our leader now next who will read uh shivansh gangwar will read now the election commissioner commissioner of the india plans organize the Collect the election the commission election of in india of the india plans organize the 
conducts the election in the in it also organize announces the result of the election important of vote is the importance of all citizens it also allow people to choose their leader if people are unhappy with the current government they are need not then in the next election elected leaders have to serve the people while looking after their needs every vote is considered to be equal all right now the election commission how how do these elections take place they take place under the election commission of india it is all done by the election commission of india it plans it organizes and it conducts these elections and then after these elections are held then who decides who announces the result it is also announced by the election commission of india now children we see that it is very important to vote what is the diff what is the importance of voting there are so many things that we come to know that is like it allows people now if we won't have voting our leader somebody will stand as our leader so do you think it is going to be good no not at all it is the people who decide who their leader would be that is why voting is important it allows us to choose our leaders then if people are unhappy with the current government suppose i am unhappy with the current government now next time what will happen i will not give my vote to the same people i will not give my vote to the same leader i will now think that no this government is not doing good to our nation so i should now change my vote that is the next importance of voting then elected leaders have to serve the people by looking after their needs now if we have chosen a leader now it is the duty of the leaders also to look after the needs of the people every vote is considered to be equal now all votes are equal it is not that that somebody's vote would be considered inferior or somebody's vote would, would be considered superior no not at all each vote is equal is that clear to all of you yes ma'am no yes ma'am yes yes ma'am yes next is caring for public property uh who will read who will read zoya yes, fatima will read zoya fatima and then jivrat singh Ma'am, can I read the after Zoya? Zoya Fatima is not reading. Why? Zoya Fatima, are you not there in the class? Okay. Next, Yuvraj Singh. Yuvraj Singh, you will read. Okay, ma'am. Very good. Importance of voting. Better this we have done. It is important for. Yuvraj, the next one, caring for public property. Okay, ma'am. Caring for public property. Property is something that belongs on and. Ma'am, what is it? Belongs. Belongs. Belongs to an individual. Belongs to an individual or a group. property can be pri private or public things that belong to an individual or a group of personal use are called private property for example your clothes your shoes your bed and your toys are you private property roads parks hospitals monuments 
buses and movie halls belong to each one of us and are called public property very nice it now okay that's all beta now what is property property is something that belongs to us it may belong to an individual or it may belong to a group of people now there are certain now, things what? yes Then what is so, the meaning of individual? Individual means single person. Okay, okay. individual is what? Okay. Single person. Now, you have your toys. You have your clothes. Whom do they belong to? Your clothes. They belong to whom? Do do your clothes belong to your uh, parents? No. No. It is your. it is your own property your house your house belongs to whom to all all of you your father your mother your grandparents and you so it is again it belongs to all of you but it is a private property why because it can't be used by outsiders can any outsider come and sleep inside your house or start no, living in your house on his own no ma'am No, no ma'am. No, ma Can any person just come and drive in your car? No ma'am. No, no ma'am. No. So no, this is all what? Why? Because that's your private property. It belongs to you or your family. That is your private property. And then what is public property? Public property is something that is used by all of us. It can be used by any one of us. Can you give me an example of public property, children? Oh, no, no, garden. Then taxi, auto. Very good. Then building, then shop, then clothes, then clothes, shoes. Clothes and shoes is private property. Rishav, Rishav, you go and wear anybody's clothes, beta. I'm no, I'm asking about a uh, public property. Ma'am, I like the private property. Like garden, mall. Yes, these parks, these buses, trains, metros, whatever we use in public, this is all public property. The benches, the swings in the park, or anything, these monuments, buildings. these are all public property they belong to all of us flights also yes then shoes 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 to beta private property hote hain na do you get shoes on roads that you can go and wear any shoe tell me no ma'am then shoes no, is ma what Then shoes is private property. Yes, shoes is private property. Your shoes is private property. Okay, next. Next, the last paragraph. Who is going to read the last paragraph? Okay, Ma'am, can I answer? Okay, Rishav. Rishav, a bit. I have already taken Rishav's name now. It is the responsibilities of the. government to ma maintain public property but it is the duty of the citizens to take care of it and use it, it properly while using it we could of the man what is written after should better just a second i'm forwarding my link in the next class just a minute i'll just see and tell yes which word ma'am after should ah ma'am in we should keep these places clean Oh ma'am, ma'am, fourth fourth line. We should. We should obey. We should obey all rules. We should obey all the rules. We often go to parks, beach, garden, or zoo. 
for the picnic. We should keep these places clean. Water and electricity should should, should not be wasted. Breaking. So should we not be wasting? Breaking. Breaking. Street, street lights. Light, street light. Ma'am, out of street light. Scribbling. Scribbling on scribbling, the walls. Scribbling on the walls of monuments and and scripting on spitting. the road. All spitting on the road. All harm the the public property, and we should never do this thing. <coughs> Looking after public property is is a matter of a great import importance. For the citizens. All right. Now, see, children. We take care. We look after our property. That is the private property. Who comes and cleans your house? Whosoever comes and cleans your house, but you, what do you do? You manage your house to be cleaned. You manage your things to be cleaned, isn't it? That's your responsibility. But when we talk yes, about this public property, so whose responsibility is it to maintain it? Who maintains it? Um, the first um, line, the first line. Man. Yes. Same like government. Yes. Government. Very government. Very good. Public, yes. These public properties, these public places and all are maintained by the government. But still it is maintained by the government. But it is our duty. It is the duty of citizens to use these things nicely. We should not damage or destroy these things. We should not try to break these things. What we should do? We should use it nicely. Now see, we, uh, we come across so many things. While using it, we should obey all the rules. We often go to parks beaches, gardens, and zoos for picnic. We should keep these places clean. What do you do? What do you do when you go to any park? Do you make it dirty? Do you throw the wrappers here and there everywhere? Uh, no, no ma'am. Ma do you put do you put yes, no. do you put waste and garbage in the parks, in the zoos? No. No. no we try to use them nicely. We try to keep these places clean. Then water and electricity should not be wasted. That we all know, right? It should not be wasted. Breaking yes, street lights, scribbling on the walls of the monuments and spitting on the road all harm the public property and we should never do these things. Do you ever scribble on the walls? What is scribbling no, on the wall? Scribbling no, is writing. Right. Yes, writing no. unnecessarily. Ma'am, my ma brother has right in the walls. Yes. Small ma children ma often, have... often do this thing in the house. Yes, beta? We have scribbling on the wall, so wall is going, wall is seeing to the dirty. Yes, it will look very dirty. Do we spit on like roads? Ma'am, like this? Yes. Oh, okay. Rishav no, is showing. Rishav is showing what his brother has done on the wall. He has scribbled on the wall. Yes, ma'am. All right. So this scribbling and spitting around here and there makes the places dirty. We should not do it. Looking after public property is a matter of great importance for all citizens. So we should take care of public property also. As we want our private property to be good and nice, we should take care of the public property as well. Okay, now Manas Garg, read out in a nutshell. All the points okay, given in a nutshell. Okay, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, I have read all the points. Yes, all the points. Okay, ma'am. In a nutshell, a person born in a particular country is called a citizen of that country. This is a subject that teaches us how the government of a country works. 
as good citizens <clears throat> of india it is important for us to develop a good civic sense an election is a process by which the citizens choose a leader all citizens all citizens or indian citizens above the age of 18 are allowed to participate the election process the election commission is of india grants the organism organize organizes organizes and conducts the allocation beta elections 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 in india on the day of the election voters go to the polling polling booth booth carrying their voter id card and vote by secret ballot ballot <coughs> while the government has the responsibility of maintaining public properties it is the duty duty of the it is the duty the duty of the citizens to make care of them and use them properly very nice very good so everything is clear to everyone is there any doubt regarding this chapter anyone has no, any doubt no ma'am no ma all right so what you will do now is just try to do these fill in the blanks these five fill in the blanks on your own i'll give you 2 minutes just do it on your own okay done ma'am you can send pdf beta it is already on the class group just check check fourth b group it is already there Sorry, I cannot see. Sorry, I did not see. Now you found it. Ma'am, may I go to work now? Yes, beta go. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes. Ma'am, I don't know the fifth one. All right, read out the fifth one and tell you. Dash means things that belong to an individual. The uh, dash means now what means public property or private property. personal property means something that belongs to an individual 